Wow. Now he moved us. He moved us across the border from Trenton into Pennsylvania, where the root of this nation really was established. And you know what? There's life coming into the root. Love it. Jamie, that was awesome. Let's thank God for her, th this team. Wow. Turn with me, if you will, uh, on your phone or whatever you use. I don't know anymore. I, I still... Well, you know, it's different. As long as that word gets down in your heart, doesn't really matter how it gets down there. And uh, I thank God for the word of the Lord tonight and all of those who have delivered it. You, you see how the Spirit orchestrates a message. And uh, Daniel, you and Amber stand up. Let me thank God for y'all. Let's thank God for their time. Ten years in Israel, and then the Lord brought them here. Their book is out there. Such a great book, Joy in the War. <laughs> Tell somebody, if there was ever a title we needed, it's that one. Gosh. Now, I want to share something. Before Ruth came up here, um, I knew I needed to share this. See, the Lord is doing something in us. He's giving us a backbone of steel and, and, and a gut, you know, because most of your emotional movement comes not just through your emotions and heart, but your gut is producing lots of, uh, of, mo uh, of emotion through you. And he's giving us this iron gut. And when Ruth got up here and said, we're not going to tiptoe, we're not going to tiptoe. Matter of fact, you tiptoe through the tulips <laughs> this season. You better smoke as much as you can because <laughs> it's, it's not too good on the other side. If when you come out, if you don't come out with strength and really a clarity of mind. So I want to tell you, it, we have entered a new era. This era is very important. It looks just like this. Now, we started showing this at uh, the beginning of uh, 2020. And it's a picture we need to see because the Lord said that's what this era looks like. And because it looks like this, we need to be sure we're on the side where the Ancient of Days is blowing fire. And the Lion of the tribe of Judah is leading us. And that's really where we are. I mean, you're going to start seeing events unfold and you just have to learn that God has risen up a new army. And... Uh, Poke somebody and say, he's talking about you. <laughs> we all have been through things. Now, the, the last verse of chapter 8 in Daniel, and all of you that are joining with us on the web, we so appreciate you. We thank God that you're right here in a very strategic meeting. Let's thank God for them. Verse, verse 20, 27 of chapter 8 says this, And I, Daniel, was exhausted, was sick for several days. Afterward, I got up and contain, continued with the king's business. Now, that's a very important verse with us because we've all gone through things. And we've all had loved ones that have gone through things. But, Look at somebody next to you and say, but you're still here. So, since you're still here, 
Yeshua said this to us. He said, strengthen that which remains. And like Daniel said, you know, this thing almost did me under what I saw. And, uh, but I must get up and continue on with the king's business. Now, that's where we're at. And that's where we're headed. And that's where we're going. But I was astounded at the vision and I really couldn't get any explanation for it. You know, I can go back to 1986 when God visited me and gave me vision of today. Now, that's, we're talking about 24, 20, that's, that's a bunch of years. Uh, that 86, that means we had 16 more years in that uh, era. And now we have 22 later, 22 years later, and it is manifesting. Now, when I wrote books about it, and those books are so key right now, uh, when that anointing starts moving, my watch has gotten where it sends out messages. <laughs> SOS messages. I've had people call and say, are you all right? I got an SOS message from you. Uh, I, I, I said, we need help. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else that's about. I mean, it's happened three times uh, in the last two weeks. And so the Lord's saying, I'm mobilizing help right now. And thank God you showed up. I love it. Let's thank God for John and Cheryl and all they do. Love them. Now, when I first shared that in 1986, I was on staff as the administrator of one of, a very large Baptist church. So you can imagine when I started sharing what God was saying, but... My pastor called me in and he said, um, you know, I really bear witness with what you're saying, but nobody is going to get this nor like it. So you need to start just moving very slowly and develop some key messages that at the right time you share. It was real wisdom. It was wisdom. And uh, to, that man is 90 now and he's still, still Baptist, but still once a year sends Pam and I a gift. Now that's the type of relationship we have. And, <clears throat> and so when I started sharing about China and about Russia and God showed me in 10 year increments over China. So I want to encourage you right now. Don't be staring too hard into Russia because there's other movement going on. And, uh, and the Lord said by 2026, China has accomplished a lot. But when I started sharing it, you can get I've, I've written it in three books and in Passover prophecies. Now, not only Daniel and Amber's book, but Passover prophecies. If you don't have this, we are in a Passover era. You need to understand what's in this book. It will help you. And uh, <clears throat> so with that, and Peter, of course, embraced it in 1990. That was in 86. But Peter Wagner, whom God put me with, and really embraced and knew that what uh, God was saying would, would materialize. I uh, see Tim and Ann here. And, of course, we were all very connected in progressing forward. But... Going through those eras took a toe, a great toe. Lots of really conflict, lots of confrontations, lots of this makes, this will not happen. And I even had to go before big groups and say, you know, you're going to have to understand I'm not going to try to convince you of anything, but there are certain things that you'll just have to watch and see. 
no need getting in it. But yet it takes a toll on you like what Daniel just wrote. And so in July of last year, I got a very bad report. And I've had bad reports through the years, but this was pretty bad. And I called Daniel and Chad and John Mark, Brian, some of the guys that were there, and I laid the pictures out and said, you're going to lay hands on this. And you're going to decree what we see changes. Well, they didn't even believe. They did it. They decreed what we saw would shift. Now, when you do that, you just have to go and with God believing this thing will shift some way. And so, uh, the Lord spoke to me during that time and said, I will give you a backbone of steel and a gut of iron. And I said, well, Lord, you know, I've been through so much. I thought I was okay, but evidently, you know, we're going through other things and you need to strengthen us. So right now, put your hand on somebody and say, you're being strengthened in incredible ways. <laughs> 